Hi everyone. Today we're going over a starting point in the research process. That's uh, narrowing down a topic. Okay, your professor has given you a research assignment and a topic to start with, and that's marine construction. Now where do you start? Uh, well, you can browse over some reference books and textbooks in that subject area first. You can then move on to trade journals and industry newspapers for more ideas and suggestions. These often can cover interesting current developments in your chosen topic area. Finally, you can brainstorm using industry websites or even Google Scholar. So, organizing data and concepts is an important strategy to consider when you're narrowing down your topic. The craft of research offers a solid framework for generating viable topics and synthesizing your research questions. Many researchers and students use this type of modeling to frame their narrowing down process. So you start off with an interest in seawall construction because you want to learn more about hurricane protection. And this is in order to understand principles of marine construction, which is your starting topic area. So finally, we can use two other practical models to accomplish this task as well. The first is narrowing down by adding keywords. The method or this method is more methodical and involves plugging in different search terms, querying a database, and possibly having to repeat this with different search terms uh, multiple times. This uh, will, will get you more focused results. And second, or the second method is by limiting with criteria and filters. This method is uh, highly efficient, but not always successful. For instance, we can limit by scholarly articles only or peer-reviewed articles only, or we can limit by date or currency, or we can even limit by uh, resource type, such as um, only looking for primary sources. Um, these are some of the strategies for narrowing down your topic. If you have any other questions, please feel free to contact us at library at sunimaritime.edu.